welcome back to my channel and I hope you've been having a great day so far. Thank you again for tuning in. As you can tell from the title of today's video, we are going to do another episode from our food from TV and movie segment and today we're going to make Kronk spinach puffs. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do. Instead of releasing a video every Thursday at 2.30 p.m. PST, I'm actually changing it to Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. PST, but there will be a new video every week. And if you haven't followed any of my social media accounts, they're all down below. I do release content on each platform that's a little bit different from YouTube, so hopefully you'll find something you'd like. And without further ado, let's get started. So I've made a list of basically all of the food from TV and movies that I wanted to try this year and into 2022 since I only do one a month. And I usually do a little bit of research beforehand and I usually watch the TV show or movie just to get a feel of what I would think the food they were making was like. And honestly, I haven't watched Emperor's New Groove in a long time. And I totally miss the crazy duo of Kronk and Isma. And I'm going to post the picture and link the video below on, on the part where Kronk serves his spinach puffs. And they are kind of a triangle shape, so I'm going to recreate it um, to look exactly or close to what he made as well. So this episode was kind of funny because he bakes spinach puffs and he almost burns them and I feel like that's super accurate for how I bake. I never know if I'm going to burn something or overcook it. So I have recipe tested this and I am certain it will go out without a hitch. I burnt the crispy chickpeas that I shared with you guys two weeks ago. So this is going to work for sure. Um, but the ingredients for today is a butter puff pastry. I don't know how to make my own pastries yet, so I have just bought a store-bought one. I've got half of a block of cream cheese in here. Um, I used the other half to recipe test and it was perfect, so I'm just going to use the other half for today's video. I have got half of a bag of um, wilted spinach. I just cooked it in a little bit of olive oil and then chopped it up into little pieces. I've got a half cup of feta in here and I just got the shredded feta. You can definitely get the crumbled one. It's really up to you. I just thought the shredded one was a lot easier to deal with and I wouldn't have to get my hands dirty. Um, I've got some melted butter here just to put over the top so it gets all nice and brown. You can also use egg wash. And then I've got an assortment of seasonings here. So I've just got a half of a teaspoon of pepper and garlic powder. And then I've got one full teaspoon of onion powder. I've got four peeled garlic cloves. You can definitely use about three to five, depending on how garlicky you want your spinach puffs. I'm gonna use the sweet number of four. And I'm just going to put this in the garlic press so there's some fresh garlic. Okay, so I've actually left this sitting for about uh, 30 minutes to an hour now just so it would soften so again I've just got a half block of cream cheese here throw that in the spinach bowl and then I'm just going to add in my feta and then give it a good mix so it's all soft and creamy so once your spinach is all combined with the cream cheese and feta and it's all creamy, now you can start to add your seasonings. Okay. And really up to you if you want to mince it up yourself, but I just put it through the garlic press and I just put in um, two at a time. I just got this from like the dollar store, so it was pretty cheap and it saves me a lot of time. And you can just put it in the dishwasher. Okay, now you want to just give it a final mix all together and then we will get the puff pastry ready. Okay, so now that is all getting ready, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. I already did that prior to starting this video and then we can work on our puff pastry. So again, I just bought the store-bought one if you want, you can make it yourself, but I cannot make fresh pastries 
and res myself and it usually takes me a lot longer so uh this video would be two hours and i probably have to like use a fire extinguisher because it would for sure pretty much burn okay so usually comes with um two rolls in my container here and then it has parchment paper and then you just want to uh, roll it out and then i usually cut it into three sections okay just cut it into three sections here as even as you can but mine is not even and then you want to cut it into um, three again so they're kind of squared and that's when we can start filling so for each square I guess I put um, about half with filling and then I fold it over so it's just pretty much like a spoonful you don't need to like overpack it really up to you I actually gave this to a bunch of family when I recipe tested and they loved it so it is a crowd pleaser and I definitely recommend bringing it to like a party if you like or like a picnic barbecue so yeah again just put a spoonful of mixture halfway and then close it up and repeat for as long as you have filling so i have just finished my first tray and one roll of the puff pastry so now i'm just going to add some melted butter on top i just melted this in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're golden brown. And then take it out and we'll test try it. So just put like a dab of butter. You can use salted or unsalted. I believe the one I'm using is salted. <laughs> Forgot to check the package. While I am waiting for the ones to cook. I'm going to prep another batch because I do have a lot of filling left so I can do one more roll. Um, if anything, and you don't have any more puff pastry, you can definitely put it in a omelet or um, you can use it as like bread filling because it is again just cream cheese spinach. There's nothing really um, uncooked in it aside from the garlic. So. Perfect to just have as a tree, or you could even make it a spinach dip and just um, broil it. Maybe put some feta on top or some other cheese on top, broil it, and then have it with some fresh tortilla chips. Okay, so this is all ready to go. I'm gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes and then we will taste test. I'll catch you guys in a bit. <clears throat> Okay, so my first batch has come out and I just transferred it on here to cool for about five minutes and I've got my second batch in there. So I think it's time for a taste try. Plus I'm really hungry, I haven't had lunch yet. So we're doing this. <laughs> so they're super flaky, um, puff pastry always puffs up. So I don't know if I can get it to stand. Um, Kronk's holding them on a serving platter and they are triangle kind of standing up. So in a real world, you'll probably make the stand up. I don't know how to make it stand up without ruining it. So it is what it is on this, but let's give it a taste test. Even though I already know it tastes delicious. Mm. Perfect. If you've ever had a, okay, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but a span, spanakopita. Yeah, spanakopita, which is like, a Greek spinach puff. I mean, I wouldn't say this is similar. Obviously, they do different things. They put some fresh herbs in it. They put some onion sometimes, and I didn't do that. But it's similar to that. You just got a flaky pastry, and then inside you've got spinach, cream cheese, and everything ties together so well. I 
first made a batch of this and I gave it to some friends and family um, and they loved it. They're so good. I love these as like a lunch or a snack, but they are a little messy just because it is a puff pastry and they do crumble a little bit. So just have a plate under you, unlike me who is making crumbs everywhere. So I guess that concludes my video for today. Again, if you want to see the full recipe and full instructions, they are on the blog. I'll link everything down below. Um, usually in these videos, I just kind of do them quick. I show you what they kind of look like. I describe what they kind of taste like, but everything in full is on the blog. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do. I am releasing a video every Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. PST. If you haven't followed any of my social media links, they are all down below. And other than that, I hope you guys get to enjoy this one day and make this for somebody else. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.